All right, all right, all right. What is up? I was in Atamudara Beach and I took about 4,300, 4,400 steps uh, to get here. Right now I am in front of Kamenia, in front of the coastline of Heraklion city. And in this video, I will be showing you the coastline uh, from the center of Heraklion. I will be walking towards Amudara beach and I, and I will try to walk as far as I can. In the meantime, I just want to tell you if you are staying in Heraklion, it is very easy and it is possible to walk to Amudara. And if you are staying in Amudara in the early morning, in the afternoon, if you are up for a walk, or down for a walk, then you can easily walk to the center of Heraklion, which will be uh, approximately uh, from, it will vary from which place to which place, but it is gonna be, the maximum is gonna be 15,000 steps, and the minimum is gonna be like 4,000 steps. So you will be here. So from here, I'm gonna walk into the center of Heraklion to see what's going on, and uh, I really don't know what is the date today. Like, when you live life in my terms, it's a little bit difficult. Yeah, I don't go by the calendar, which is a bit crazy. 19th of April, uh, Friday, and the time is 10.49 uh, a.m. That's what it is. So yeah, we will be taking a walk, we will be uh, looking at Heraklion, what is going on, summer 2024, and then we will be continuing our walk from the center on the coastline towards Amudara, and I will, she uh, and I will show you each single beach that is available from the very center of Heraklion towards uh, Amudara and Ghazi on the Retimno side, on the western side of uh, Heraklion, yeah. I'm still at the same place where I begin the video. I was just over there and now I'm at this part. So I'm gonna leave uh, the location link in the description to this very location so you can understand where I begin the walk. I can, I, this one will be the first beach if you were walking toward the western side of Heraklion city towards Amudara. This is gonna be your first beach. I see, over there, even in the winter, locals are coming on daily basis uh, to swim. But if you would ask me personally, would you swim here? If I had other options, I wouldn't swim here. It is very close to the city. I don't know how clean the water is. But I also see people swimming there. And now from here, I'm going to walk straight into the city. Like this, where you see is like the black honey, and then I walk that street to get to the center. Of course, in this area, we have uh, a mini market over there. We have a very nice uh, cafe, bar, snack, slash restaurant. And here we have some other small bars as well. The Dodo, they will be hopefully open. And And uh, down the street over there, we have another one. It opened, I guess, uh, a year and a half ago. And from here on, we are gonna be walking towards the center. So I am giving you these power points, these power places, so you can remember, like... Um, I cannot read it. Para... Stis. Paras... Parastis, yeah, Parastis. This one is, this one, yeah. And on the right side we have a bookstore. This one could be a really nice entrance to the center of the city and a very nice exit that it, it's gonna lead you directly 
to the sea and to the beach in a in a area which is very suitable for kissing. <laughs> yeah, so keep in mind this way, it's the easiest exit. Yeah, but don't park your car here. You, you'll always get a ticket. I personally received a ticket of 40 euros and they were trying to also take my uh, number plate, but they couldn't manage to get it out. So I was lucky. But here we have a very nice burger place, the Burger Lab. Uh, I have been here twice. I think if you are an American, you come here, you can, uh, you, you're gonna like the burger from here. I don't know how good they are, but in my experience, as much as I know from burgers, they are making a damn good burger in Heraklion city. Yeah, they are all a bit, a bit pricey, but the quality is top notch. And if you are somebody who, who thinks that you can compete with them, then this is also a place for the rent. I guess it was a coffee shop before, it didn't went well, now it's out for rent. This place is called Utopia or Utopia. So they have like almost every uh, brand beer that you can order. And also they have very nice, like comfortable seats upstairs, very cozy, very chic. And uh, I've been here as well. Maybe someday I will come and film myself to show it to you. Uh, they have very good tea and it's just a very amazing and, and, and very beautiful place. Locals uh, also are choosing to hang out here more often and it's a very nice pathway to, uh, to have a good time here, sit here, relax and then go for a walk towards the beach. In this area, we had a Mexican restaurant. It didn't win too well. So now this is empty. And following the same path, we are now just like about 120, 130 steps away from the Lion Square, which is considered the very center power point of Heraklion city. And from here on, I can feel the buzz. I can feel the busyness. Hello, my friend. Hello, what is up? How are you? I'm very good. Yeah. How is work going? It's all right. It's yeah. not beginning. doing very well for the time. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah, how is your girlfriend? She's good. She's shopping to the bookshop. Okay, cool. That's nice. What about you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just being so grateful for what, what's going on in life. Yeah. Happy to see you. Happy to see you too. Yeah. All the best, Bye. brother. Take care. Yeah. Peace. Thank you. 
Да. Или то си изрежеш. It's a nice warm day in Hiraglion. Everybody is out in a very elevated mood, positive vibes. As you can see, the clothes are getting shorter and everybody is receiving some vitamin D, which is a good thing. Yeah, so the vibe is up, the city is charming, and uh, we are having a good time. What else? And in this very location is like the center point of street food in Heraklion. There are many street food restaurants that you can grab something and you can go for a walk. So I'm going to leave a link to this exact location as well in the description so you can easily find and have yourself something that you appreciate and you enjoy. And from here on, if you would continue this way, uh, to this street or to this one then it's gonna take you to Platia Cornaro where the bus stop is from there you can take a bus to go to Amudara but in this video uh, we will be approaching going to Amudara by feet and I will let you know at the end of the video how many steps I walked yeah so we are now gonna walk towards the 25th of August street where the town hall of Heraklion is located and where the church of St. Titus and this is the Heraklion info point. It's a very interesting place. They have uh, mixed technology uh, with some uh, historical or archaeological things. It's, it's a good place. If you are coming, if you are wondering what to do, you can enter this place and uh, believe me, you're gonna find yourself interesting things. Yeah, so let's walk towards e così pende a Augustus. I'm going to give you a quick description of this uh, Loin Square. We have ice cream shop, we have shop for glasses. Actually, I guess I think I got my glasses uh, from here. And around the square, we have coffee shops uh, and we have also many tra transfer services. And on this very building, which is very glassy, we have some really unique and new uh, sport uh, outfit and our. Uh, uh, shoes these kind of things sneakers that they have like the newest one they are a bit pricey but they, but their quality is always good if you remember from previous videos i had uh, a jacket it was emerson i guess the blue one it helped me through lots of winters and difficult times i got that one from here actually that was a gift and uh, yeah
Λοιπόν, έχουμε να σα πω να σα ευχαριστώ. Θα του κάνουμε μια ερώτηση. Αν απαντήσετε σωστά, θα κερδίσετε πολλαπλέ εκδόσει σε όλα τα And now we are approaching the church of St. Titus. A very beautiful church, very beautiful, magnificent. And the square itself is very beautiful, very bright. So if you are visiting Heraklion, this is also a nice landmark that you can visit. I really don't like those stickers on the uh, sign of church. That should be clean. So around the church we have nice uh, sitting area, such as coffee shop. You can uh, order a drink and sit and like just kind of uh, embed yourself into the vibe of around the church. It's very beautiful. And we have Hondo Center, which is uh, full of clothing and makeup stuff. And right in front of the church, there is another coffee shop. And uh, yeah, uh, Indigo, yeah, Indigo, it, the name is, it also has a very beautiful view towards the uh, Church of St. Titus. You can sit there and sometimes you have these really, really talented artists playing a guitar on the street. And uh, the one who is playing guitar here, uh, he is from Canada and he is a very talented artist. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna tip him. Hello, brother. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. You're welcome. I was just talking about you in my YouTube video. I was oh, like, okay. he's really talented. Oh. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> Holy moly, the way he's playing guitar, it just touches our, my heart. His fingers are just so good. If you, if, if you are lucky and you are walking on the streets of Heraklion, it, it just listen to him and pay attention that he is playing from a different source. The, the source of his play is not just theoretical and stuff. There, there is like, that there you can feel the soul of music in his uh, melodies. So yeah, if you are lucky, you will find him and, and make sure you tip him, a very, uh, tip him good, yeah. I wish I could sit there longer and listen to his music. It would have been amazing, but I, I'm here and he's here. So we see each other almost uh, every now and then, and then it is possible for me to listen to his music, yeah. yeah. It would be nice if he will agree uh, that I could make a documentary about his uh, his artistic life that would have been that would be something nice yeah i might talk to him sometime about that and right now we are at the very core of uh, 25th of august street and you can see the gift shops are all open and the tourist shops are also open <laughs>
it's been quite a walk for me i think i'm gonna serve my i'm gonna give myself a small break i'm gonna uh, grab uh, a drink uh, from somewhere and then sit drink my uh, drink and then i'm gonna continue and uh, yeah <laughs> There is nothing more romantic than grabbing a coffee and then walking towards the Kule Fortress in Heraklion and finding a place and sit and drinking it and just embra embracing the, the sun and the warm and the vibe, yeah. So right now I'm in front of the old Venetian port of Heraklion and it is charming, it is very beautiful. You can see some tourists here and there and the red line, blue line buses are also available that can take you for the tour around Heraklion. That's something that you should be also participating. That's a nice thing. You will learn a lot about the city. And here we are at Kule. This place is called Kule. And that's the Kule Fortress over there. It's, it's magnificent. Yeah, and uh, also I want to mention that if you are uh, a rich dude, you can rent these uh, sailing boats from here or these yachts and go for a trip and uh, see the sunset as well. And if you are someone who is uh, looking forward to living in living in this beautiful city, uh, and if you are into uh, like boats and uh, buying a boat or uh, grabbing your own license, there are the here we have uh, boat schools that you can do the theoretical and also the practical, and then they will you can have your own boat license and you can buy a boat. According to my friend uh, Mike, he, he owns a boat and uh, he has done his uh, uh, studies and he has a license now. He told me there are several uh, like ports that they are considered as shelter for boats. So if you park your boat, boat there, there are no charges and fees on it. But here, if you want to park your boat in Heraklion uh, port, then of course you gotta pay for it. And I really like, it's, it's becoming very nice and lively, this, what they have built here, very nice. By the way, the coffee is so good. Uh, the girl who made the coffee, very talented. Not every place that you grab the coffee, you taste it. It doesn't give you that impression of like, mm, yeah, I feel it. No, this one is really, yeah, it's just perfect cappuccino. All right, so this is also a very nice uh, walking path. If you are staying in Heraklion, you can come here in the morning, in the evening. You can run here, you can buy here. It's just magnificent. And the Kule Fortress itself, it's a very beautiful place. It's a it's very uh, lively place. If you go inside and you buy the ticket, it's really worth a visit. It's nice to, to visit this place. and. Uh, I'm not saying like anybody needs your money, no. If you would go there and if you visit this place and you see, I think you will be like, oh, that money was not wasted. I really uh, gained some insight to 
uh, some history and also the architecture and also the way the way life was and there are some tools and some 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 things that it's very nice to see yeah uh, i'm not forcing you of course but uh, if you if you are looking for an activity then this is a good one so yeah this area is actually not recommended to be swimming it is rocky and it could be a, a bit dangerous uh, so if from here on we have only one little beach which is behind this fort race that's also not suitable for swimming i have seen some people just walking into the water but i've never seen somebody swimming here as it is the the like the belonging of the port and it is not so healthy and it is a little bit like dangerous to be swimming in the port yeah uh, so no beaches here and now we are gonna walk from this area which i will also leave a link in the description to this very location so you can find it and we will be walking uh, towards the Amudara beach and I will show you the entire coastline as well and if I feel like uh, it's necessary to add any commentary I will let you know about that as well by sitting here and drinking my coffee it just refreshed some memories from about six years or seven years ago so I I was here at the very same location I was sitting here over there it's a bit changed now but there was like this big stone and I was sitting on this stone uh, and I was wearing my sneakers Chinese one that I bought I guess about 25 uh, euros and that's that I had and it, they were broken there were holes on my sneakers if I find a picture I will kind of uh, show it on the on the screen somewhere and my case was rejected and I didn't have any money and I, I had to go to Athens uh, in order to appeal and life was, life looked impossible to me at that point and, and, I, and, I, and I deep down in myself at that point that everything was like going down and everything was just falling apart like imagine yourself cannot afford to eat in a restaurant I cannot afford to eat uh, I mean like if I, if I would have eaten two souvlakis in one day I will be running out of money very soon then I will be not able to continue with your broken shoes and you are working in the society and you are looking everybody else is wearing uh, at least something okay uh, and not like then you look at your shoes and at that point when you when you listen to yourself i will i will share a little bit i will go a little bit more in in depth uh, uh, here just for a few seconds and uh, then you there are two ways for you waiting and that's where you make the decision one is to not give up and uh, believe in in your abilities in your skills and and be committed and and be consistent in what you are trying to follow don't let people uh, fill you with their words with their sentences if there is something positive it if you feel like this is encouraging you towards your goals and toward your dreams follow it and if you see that they are kind of deviating you for their own personal uh, benefits then don't follow and reject believe in yourself at that time i didn't have anything but trust in myself and i knew somehow deep down in me that one day i will be able to uh, to make it happen to make it work yeah and do you think i have uh, like the question is okay so what do you think now now I have a residency in Greece, I have uh, a driving license, a European driving license, I have uh, a car, I have a community, I have friends and uh, I have some tools that I can work with and I have money too and also I have you guys supporting me and uh, keep, keep, keeping me going. So you guys are the biggest and the most important thing that have that has ever happened to me and 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 without you it's it wouldn't be possible and it wouldn't be 
easy. So thanks to you guys. Thanks each one of you, those of you who shared love and those of you who believed in me and those of you who still believes in me. Thank you so much. And yeah, I never gave up. I never went the I never went the wrong way. I never thought about making easy money. I, I choose to stay consistent and I accept the hard work and now here we are. So life can change but it takes time. Six year or seven year is no joke. If you work for a dream six or seven years I'm pretty sure I promise you that you will get somewhere. But if you work for a month I don't think that's a good way to look at looking at it actually the dream that i'm following of being a creator being of a photographer and being being a, a filmmaker it's not from now since childhood i i i am passionate about this art form and i've never uh, give up on it by any any definition yeah so do what you love and be consistent and be committed uh, and, and, and also be logical, uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna uh, get there, but time, six years, even if it would have taken me 20 years, I would have given it, yeah, that's what I am pretty sure about, that, that is the type of person I am, <laughs> committed, <laughs> peace. Thank you. And now we are walking away from the Kule on the west coast, west, northwest coastline of Heraklion city. Here we have a fish market. They catch every time fresh fish and they bring it and they sell it here. I don't know in which particular days and in which particular order, but this is it. And we have a mini market and we have in the other side of the street over Ligo Krasi, Ligo Thalasa, a pretty known place uh, by local that they come here uh, in that, they eat in that taverna. If there was life, of course, I'm going to give their menu a visit and then I will share it with you. And in front of us here, this is called Ipocambos and this one is also very uh, famous among the locals. And I personally have been here multiple times and I, they never let me down with their taste and with the quality of the food and their services and the prices are like everything is just top-notch and if we continue we have some uh, other as well we have Castella here and then we have uh, the Chinese restaurant I also have eaten here in the Chinese restaurant. Sweet people, amazing people. The food is good, delicious. I don't have any other uh, experiences with Chinese food that I can compare with, uh, but what I ate here was tasty and it was really good. And also it, it felt like there's like a family kind of Chinese restaurant run by a family. So that gives it a nice touch and they were so nice and polite. Uh, yeah, so it was, really, it was really nice. When I came to Heraklion for the first time, when I, when I got out of the boat and I guess this exact path that I'm walking right now, even in, in back then when I got out of the boat with my friend Jakub uh, or Jacob in English version. Uh, so we were walking here 
at that very first time I really couldn't like have this I couldn't really identify or render Heraklion city the face of it as a as a like wow well I'm coming to the point just gave me a moment and I I can understand many of you those who had been to have been to Heraklion in the first impression this city is not giving you that wow or that like kind of very curated uh, face but when I took the bus with my friend and I was going uh, through the like uh, the villages like towards the south of uh, Kriti Island and Heraklion city I began to develop these uh, ideas and the feeling that I had there was a feeling about it the moment when I got out but when I came back and I started living in Heraklion city and slowly slowly I, I got to know the city that's where I began to understand like oh no Heraklion city is not just about the look of it it may not have the best look that you would want from a city and or you would expect from a city but it has a very slow uh, and a very like shallow thing in it once you start living in it you will get to understand and then when you leave the city and you go live somewhere else you will understand like oh there is something special about the city till this day i cannot really put my finger on that particular thing about Heraklion city uh, yeah if it if it had like a, this uh, like Santorini like uh, landmarks that I could show you then that would have been very easy but this city is a very good city if you are considering uh, living if you are considering visiting and if you are considering uh, also going out and, and, and like going to the certain various places but I'm here my point is uh, much more about living wise I'm talking that this city is a damn good city with almost every service that you would require in order to uh, function alive or function a family the hospitals like the uh, services and on one single call they are there and they are fixing your solar panels or they are uh, providing the services so this is a good city and the university is close by there is lots of things about the city but the only downside the only thing which is missing from the city is the face of the city that they couldn't manage to give this city an identity of like face like yeah in that part I know that this city struggles but uh, living wise this is a very good city and it's a it, the services are just everywhere every service is available you don't really feel limited yeah anyways this was just a side information about Heraklion city and about life we, we went about life and I kind of uh, got carried away <laughs> yeah The cafe and the bar that we have up here, it's called Mare. Very beautiful view, very beautiful atmosphere with an infinite view towards the sea, as you can see. And they have like outside area, they have inside area. Well, uh, not like a place for the party animals. Nah, not really. 
but it is convincing. You can go grab a drink, listen to music, you can go there for coffee, lunch, breakfast, things like that, but not a party place like a, for a while partying, not really, yeah. And now we are getting back exactly to where I began the video in the first place. All right, I just uh, saw a friend of mine that we used to work uh, in the olive fields in the construction. So I chat a little bit with him. And now we are exactly where I begin the video. So from here, we will be walking towards Amudara Beach. And I'm, I just, the point of this video is to show you that what's going, what was going on in the city. And it is more than possible, it's, it's a very good thing to do too. It's, it's a very refreshing experience to walk by the sea and go towards Amudara. And some people, honestly, they really don't understand how far Amudara is and how they can come to the center of Heraklion or how they can walk from Heraklion to the closest beach or the closest, most romantic taverna, which I will show you as well. So yeah. And that's the open roof uh, touristic bus. I don't know what or the price is right now, but I will try to get in one of them one day and I will capture my experience and I will share it with you. And as you can see, we have people on the beach swimming already. And the building in front of us is the Natural History Museum of Kriti Island. I've never been inside this museum, but hopefully one day I will manage to get in there and see what is, what is it all about. So in that side that was one beach and in this side like behind the museum this is another beach it is quite rocky there are like huge parts of stones 
that's your entrance to the beach. I have seen uh, people uh, fishing in this area, but I, to be honest, I have never seen a person uh, swimming in this area. So, but this is a beach. I mean, uh, we cannot ignore it. This exists, and now you know about it. Yeah. And also, it is it is walkable. You can you can take this path and you can walk and you can get close to the beach. You can sit there and you can take pictures. That's all possible. And so at least I was there. <laughs> oh, <a bonjour. laughs> yeah. And then there are very nice people that they want to be in the video. And like I said, 2024 summer, the mood is elevated <laughs> all the way up high. Yeah. A city with a walkable path on the seafront side is always a likable city and uh, I truly believe that this walking path had a huge impact psychologically in the formation of uh, me and me being able to kind of release my stress and anxiety by walking on this path and running on this path regularly which is a gift. It's, it's a very, very beautiful gift that this city provides us, this beautiful uh, walking path that you can walk and you can go till the end of that, uh, that road, which is kind of uh, in front of the port of Heraklion. And it is a far path, it's about 20 kilometers. If you run from uh, Amudara till the end of that uh, street, it's about 20 kilometers. So I can surely say that this, the existence of this walking path had a very uh, huge, massive impact on my mood and, and how positive I would feel after walking here. And whenever I had the money, I would be able to walk into Talus Plaza, which I will be showing you as well, grab a coffee and come back and spend and uh, walk by the sea. Massive impact. I felt really really positive and good at those times by the way the building that you see here this is the building where they give birth to children so that's a good thing to know if you are planning on living here and then we have another taverna over here very much visited by the locals and then after the taverna we have the Cretan uh, Desire Island nightclub uh, it's, it's a very beautiful nightclub. I have been here twice or thrice. Uh, very good musical, sometimes foreign music, mostly traditional, uh, mostly Greek music, yeah. So they, they not traditional, uh, Greek music, and also they uh, host concerts and everything as well over here. This is the Desire Island, yeah. And above this, there is another place with open, open roof area. That's also bar and cafe. Uh, I don't know the name. Uh, just give me a few seconds. I will see it and I will say it to you. I knew it, but I forgot. Yeah. It is. Manito. Manito. Something like that. Manito. 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 Something like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah so that also exists and it has an uh, area that outside that you can sit anyways very nice place very beautiful walking path and once you are a little bit away from the city then it's beautiful like here like, look what a beautiful garden here they have built it's all natural grass
and you also have the option to walk on the Venetian wall, Venetian walls of Heraklion city. That's also very beautiful. That's also something that if you are looking for an experience or looking for something to do in Heraklion while you are staying, it's a very beautiful uh, experience to walk over the Venetian wa Venetian walls of Heraklion city. And also you can go to the grave of Nikos Kazantzakis and you can like Google a little bit about it and read about this individual who is a very, uh, a very, very, very distinguished writer from Crete and from Greece. The, his books are known all over the world. Yeah, even by Jordan Peterson, who is mm, a psychologist and sociologist and philosopher from Canada, he even quoted uh, his books in one of his uh, interviews where he was talking about and somebody asked what what is the book that surprises you and he was like uh, from Nikos Kazantzakis his writings are like so deep so Jordan Peterson speaking of Jordan Peterson he is not like a simple individual he is like lightning fast the way he speaks the way he articulates sentences and how on the point uh, he is and I guess I've learned also a lot from his teachings uh, to kind of put myself in order and do the damn work and like he says do the damn job <laughs> uh, take uh, like uh, make your bed ready so it's been very helpful for me so Nikos Kazantzakis is the guy who was uh, spoken about in one of in uh, his interviews Jordan Jordan Peterson interviews and we have easy jet in the sky landing lots of people with their beautiful hottest parts to have a good time on Crete Island and this is the third beach this is the third beach uh, I have personally been here I walked to the water a little bit uh, I have noticed I have seen people uh, fishing here and some people they bring their dogs to walk here but uh, to be honest I've never seen anybody swimming here so this is the third beach and this exists right in front of the Talus Plaza And this is a biking this 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 lane line is for biking so also you have a very pretty uh, long distance biking uh, path as well that you can go and you can bike At this place this area particularly is the seafront side is called Caravolo and uh, there used to be a guy whose name was Caravolo who lived here this area I, get, I think in the past uh, uh, was houses this area was there we had buildings here but I'm not so sure so I don't want to make a mistake here what we have here is this is Envy Club the very nice club so this is this has, uh, oh, this is a club. It, it hosts sometime parties. Once I was filming here uh, with my drone, a party. Uh, so yeah, they they have a mix of like uh, foreign and uh, local music, and then it is a bar, cafe, rest, risto, risto, or maybe restaurant. Risto should be the short word for the restaurant. They also have pizza. So this is a very nice place. If you are in Heraklion and it happened to be that you you get bored and it's evening and you are looking for some place to go and just socialize, grab a drink and maybe see something, feel different, this could be uh, this could be a nice place that you can come. And here in this area, right here, we have the Talus Plaza. 
Antalus Plaza, it's a plaza and inside the plaza we have a combination of a uh, few services such as Starbucks, we have here in Talus Plaza, we have goodies, uh, we have uh, a cinema inside the Talus Plaza, uh, we, have, uh, we have ice cream place, it's a very nice compact place, nothing uh, like party related stuff, it's much more family oriented uh, area, yeah, but here this is a uh, quite polish place and it's called Envy. So we have this. And if we continue this path, it's gonna lead us to two huge parking, which are And if you see this club, which is called Envy, it has also a very nice view towards the sea. Yeah. And then if we walk a little bit from here, it, there is a huge parking area, which is quite convenient for, uh, for somebody who wants to come here. There is literally uh, a municipal parking completely free. You can park your car here and you can walk to this uh, club or you can walk to Talos Plaza, which is right in front of me. Now that we are here, I'm gonna tell you a, a little story about this area that so uh, the, uh, somebody who, who, would, who was working here, he gave me the password for the Wi-Fi, which is here in the Envy Club. And then in the past, like six, five years ago, when I uh, would edit my videos, then I would come here with my laptop with I, when I, that time I had a very uh, basic and simple laptop it couldn't handle 4k and I would uh, do my editing in uh, full HD uh, so I will sit here under in this area and then uh, or maybe a bit closer over there and I will use the Wi-Fi which was very slow and then I will wait here like fingers crossed that my battery would last until my video is uploaded uh, to YouTube so under these conditions uh, I worked like I didn't have Wi-Fi, I didn't have enough MB uh, in my phone I, and I couldn't afford all of that stuff but I managed to find a way to do my work and not give up on it and not stop and which was bringing me to a solution I, and you know creativity is not just about the painting that you uh, make or it's not just about like the beautiful shots that you can capture with your drone it is much more you can get creative with your time you can get creative uh, with your uh, circle of friends that you can you can kind of know and and you kind of gotta also be brave and come here sit here and also uh, kind of rely on wishes that you will be able to upload this video before your laptop is running out of battery because if you want to go sit there you gotta buy a drink and if you want to buy a drink you're gonna need money and if you don't have money they are not gonna bring you a drink either they are gonna let you sit there so you gotta find a way to make things work and I work under those conditions and then at the same time in the daytime I would ha I will have to go to like uh, this uh, other jobs like working in the olives or working in the construction doing this doing that all of these things it's it's always life is always a continuous challenge so if you are someone who has an idea who has a dream don't give up on it you can you can you can get it done but commitment and consistency so here we have the parking area, it is pretty quite, uh, huge parking, which is a good thing. And also on the other side of the street, we have another parking. And this is all for those who are coming to go to the Stalus Plaza and those who are coming to Envy Club. And the other people, those who are coming just to take a walk 
along the sea. I found this to be really, really awesome about Heraklion City. If you have never stopped in Heraklion City, always came here and drove away, give this place a visit. I think you may like it. Yeah. Yeah, folks, so this was it. This was the spot. I will come here and just just walk by the sea. And, and this was, for me, a very beautiful experience. I, I would think about things and it was peaceful. And this infinite view uh, towards the sea, it was always a beautiful experience. Until this day, walking here on this path, for me is a good a good experience yeah things have changed a little bit in the past years i am being busy i'm going around but whenever i have time i i come here and i just like i just like this i just like it yeah it may not be perfect but it is the place this is the path that kind of helped me regulate my emotions and help me get my mood, get my life together. So Heraklion is a city, a city of opportunities, I could say, yeah. And I have, I'm so fortunate, I'm so fortunate and I'm so grateful to be a resident of this city. And now we can see Amudara beach already. That's the Pagritio Stadium over there. They host sometimes concerts and sometimes football matches. And the rest is Amudara beach. So let me see this entire walk, how many steps uh, I have walked to get here. All right, so I began my steps uh, where I walked from 
Amudara beach to that area, it was about 4,000 and some steps, and now it is 10,026 steps, if you can see. And I've burned like 403 calories, and it took me about 101 minutes starting my walk from uh, Amudara beach, coming to the center of Heraklion, and now walking back to Amudara beach. So, until this point, I have walked about 10,026 steps, which is a good amount of steps for an individual to stay healthy. And I haven't felt any difficulties at all whatsoever. Yeah. Now we are going to continue towards Samudara and uh, we will see how far I can walk. And then I will share you the final, I will share the final results with you as well and in the meantime if you are coming and you are taking a walk on this uh, walking path sometime they are doing some concerts some dj and some rock music concerts here so if you are lucky you will get to see that and uh, uh, just above this this stairs there is a supermarket an atm machine in case you need cash and uh, you need something from the supermarket so everything is just close by This is also one of my very favorite places that I would come here and I will sit here just socialize and say hi to people. Yeah. It's a it's a very shallow area. I think as you can see it used to be like a stop for the boats. They that's what the idea was, but now it's uh, way too shallow for the boats to be parked and people come here and they fish here. And mostly I notice families coming with their kids, walking here, teaching them how to ride a bicycle. And yeah, just for a walk, uh, for a walk, for just coming out. Very nice area, yeah. So I don't think it's, 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 it's a very difficult task to walk from Heraklion to Amudara beach. I mean, you can do it enjoyably. I want to take this uh, opportunity to communicate one another thing with you. The impact of individuals, other human beings on our life. I was thinking about this idea and I kind of come to a somewhat conclusion that I want to share it with you. Imagine if you were uh, playing a game in the video game and like you are playing you are a team and another person is another team and you are playing FIFA and if you were playing the game and then you have the joystick uh, in your hand and you are making the move and if you lose the game you accept the the loose and that's like you understand there is something for you to understand which humbles you you understand that the other guy's skills and strategy was better and you were, you were was a little bit uh, not better or he was lucky this time or you were not. But if you were playing the game and then in the middle of the game you feel like you were losing and you gave the joystick to somebody else to play the game for you 
and that person loses, then there is, you are blaming yourself that you should have continued, you would have done a better job, and then you are blaming the other person that you've lost the game, so you are losing the control of your life, and then you are letting the other person by choice to influence your game. And the point being uh, that whenever we are functioning as individuals in life, we have family, we have friends, we have kids, we have uh, elderly people that we should look after them, but we are the one who is playing the game of the life. We should let them watch the way we play game and we should let them hand them the joystick to play their own game we should never let them to take the joystick from our hand and play the game for us and influence our life that that later on we will be blaming ourselves or them for losing so take the responsibility and be committed and be consistent for your own life and stand up for your own mistakes that's how we learn and and that's something that we should never ever ignore and whatever is happening around your love, uh, life uh, there are people and including me myself in the past i would blame the society i would blame uh, the law i would blame i don't know this i would blame that i would blame everything i was such a such a uh, i was living with a very i was not aware of it but i was uh, living with a victimized uh, style of mentality that I would always try to escape my own weaknesses by blaming other people. So, that's not the way to go. If you want to succeed in anything and if you want to have, uh, if you want to have a life that you, you like and you wake up every day and you, wanna, you are excited about to live it, you stop uh, blaming other people and also you stop uh, blaming the situations you get after your life and you begin to get things done that's the way to go i'm like having this conversation and but i'm staying a little bit far far I, i'm not going too specific i would go specific anyways i'm gonna say it what i'm trying to say is Whenever you have somebody who is close to you, such as friend or girlfriend or wife or father, kid, sister, whoever it is, that you are giving that person authority and you are giving that person attention and emotion, be careful with that. Because giving attention to the wrong person, even if they are the closest one to you, if they are the people that you love the most, if you give them attention and then if you give them control and if you give them too much control over your life they are gonna ruin it for you that's exactly what it is there is no way that uh, that that you can survive this thing if you give too much control to anybody in your life anybody if you give too much control they are gonna be pushing buttons and you will be dancing for them like a joystick. So if it is about travel, if it's about your life, make sure that it's a very nice teamwork and you are not handing more than necessary responsibility and control to somebody else other than you, to your life, which you are living and you are experiencing. Keep it for yourself. Yeah. So then you will be happier and you will thank me. So right now, this is the this is the split area between Heraklion and this is also Heraklion. But now we are at the very beginning of Amudara Beach, which is right over there. So we could continue this path. We could continue this path and then get to the beach, but. I have a shortcut here which I will follow my own to the easiest, the fastest way to get to the beach. I wouldn't recommend somebody who has knee problems, somebody who is not physically fit and it's your own responsibility 
to, to climb down from this area, but for me it always works. few more steps and we are at the very beginning of Amudara beach yeah so yeah folks uh, I really it makes me happy to see other people succeed in their life it makes me happy to see other people making very conscious decisions and it makes me happy to to provide any insight or anything that I have learned uh, throughout my life, throughout my journeys and ups and downs. That's the whole point. It's, it's nothing else but to, to add some, some, something good into your life. This was the easiest way to get to the beach, this bridge, but now it is considered as unsafe and now it is closed and abandoned I don't know what is going to be the future of this uh, bridge but it was a nice way to to walk from Heraklion to walk from Heraklion and come here and this walking path would continue go to the Taverna Takalitera which is a very nice uh, seafront side taverna so that would have been the way uh, in the past that I would walk but it's been I guess about two years that that port is closed yeah and this is the very very beginning of Amudara beach I personally have swum or uh, I don't know if this is swum is that correct yeah I've been in the on this beach and this is the very beginning of the beach yeah it's it's nice shallow but close to the city and that uh, the river which is coming from the city that possibly has some living bacteria so i personally never got sick if i i swim here but if you are someone who doesn't like to swim in a area where there is a river from the city coming so then you choose not to swim here yeah i'm just putting the facts and the truth in front of you And this is the Taverna Takalitera. I have personally eaten here uh, in the past many times. It's a very good taverna, as you can see. They have very beautiful view towards the, the sea. And uh, uh, this place is known among the locals for many, many years. And they serve very good ozo. And uh, they have variety of options in their menu. And I guess I could read somewhere from which year this is. Psaro uh, Taverna Takalitera. Yeah. So if you are someone who is looking for a good place to eat out and to have a good time, uh, I cannot insist uh, no more. This is absolutely beautiful. It gives you a complete uh, Greek uh, experience, the way the taverna is built. They bring their ozo from Mytilene, from Lesbos, which is very famous for its ozo 
And uh, yeah, this family, this taverna is not run by any huge business. It's not that I'm not sponsored by the taverna anything. I'm just putting the facts uh, in front of you. So very beautiful taverna. It gives you a very nice, authentic uh, Greek uh, experience. So highly recommend it without any sponsorship. And it is close to the beach, yeah. So from here on, we are gonna continue walking on the beach because some of us, we like the white noise and the relaxing and the blue colors of the sea. So I will do that for you. So we are officially uh, on the beach. So imagine I start walking from way, way far from Amudara beach. I went to the center and now I'm back on the beach and I'm just not even tired. Yeah? So you can, you can easily walk from Amudara to the center and you can easily walk from the center to Amudara beach. I think it's going to be one hell of a walk. To be honest, I guess I am a little bit tired. Not tired, I guess I am a little bit thirsty. I could use a drink by this time. Yeah, other than that, I'm absolutely good. I can walk twice as this distance if I, if I had to. <laughs>
it's a very good question that you are thinking about how am i going to know that this is the right person or this is the wrong person well let me help you with that the best thing in a relationship or in friendship is being and showing uh, generosity and being vulnerable and just being yourself fearlessly okay and then seeing when you once you are vulnerable in front of a person well they know wh what are your vulnerabilities and then what you do you just spend time with them and then you will get to see how they are gonna treat uh, you uh, as a vulnerable person around them give them time one month two month three month six month at least a year of course not when it comes to finances and business you never want to take the risk of being vulnerable and lose everything never that's a different completely its own beast how to manage and handle the business uh, relationships which is based on trust that's a different story but in relationship wise emotional wise how you can do it just by being open and vulnerable and and knowing that you are in this relationship not to not to to well there is a problem like when we are young and when we are teenagers we just already decide that this is the person based on their looks based on their charms in some cases in very rare cases that's the truth that that is the person they will know your vulnerabilities and they will never try to manipulate you and never try to hurt you although they know everything about you and about your life well that's very rare but if you are walking into a relationship and if you are out for well, it's your first date or second date and you already decide and you start talking to your buddies hey buddy this is the one i found her she is the one i'm gonna i'm gonna just throw everything on her well that's not uh, a smart way to to look at a relationship in the first like second or in the third date deciding or even in 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 six months deciding to 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 kind of move in with a person or making the decision that i'm gonna spend my life with this person be careful with your emotions be careful with your attention if you begin to love the person and if you begin to uh, develop the idea and the imagination that you want to last with this person then you kind of become a slave to that person you kind of become in 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 their pocket so you don't want to develop such uh, such uh, ideas and such uh, imaginations in the beginning give it time let the relationship breathe and try to uh, try to observe try to observe how they are treating you how they are managing you in stressful moments how they are managing their own life in stressful stressful moment how they are managing other people around them when you see them how they are how they are treating their family how they are treating their religion all of these things you have to observe and you have to understand and you have to keep in mind and if you see there are certain things red red marks or red uh, buttons for you red flag actually red flags that is telling you well she's a wonderful person she's amazing person i like her and it's been a very good time we had together but based on this 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 if she would continue uh, my life will be i will be annoyed it's not that somebody else will be annoyed by their behavior it's just because if you if if you are not like if this legal is not working with you so then you kind of slowly slowly slow down and, and back off because you don't want to destroy that person's life and you don't want to destroy your life and you don't specially want to destroy your travels believe me the most important thing about traveling is the partner travel alone observe better observe deeper keep 
keep a journal and notebook with you. Just embrace the nature, embrace different cultures alone, or do it with the right partner. To, 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 it, it will even amplify the, 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 the beautiful, the beauty of your travel. But if you would do travel with the person that you know that she is a red flag, full of red flags, or he is full of red flags, just don't get into one plane or in one bus with them in the first place because you know that they are going to ruin it for you. You really already know that this is not going to be a good experience. And then at the end, what you will say, I knew it that you are going to, I knew it that this is going to end up like this. I knew it. If you knew it, then why in the first place you begin to do a travel with that person? So in, in my circle which is mostly traveling try to i'm i'm, I'm trying to uh, help you have a good experience when you are traveling and the good experience it equals if you are with the right person it equals if you are uh, alone and if it equals if you are with families and if it equals if you don't have an annoying child, well, child management is also its own beast. You got to know how many days to travel, in what place to travel. If you have a child, which is a little bit difficult to control yet. So keeping all these things in mind and in the, f and in the future videos, I will be trying to cover and I will, be, I will be trying to share my thoughts about these topics. And I'm always open for your input and for your uh, criticism uh, in the comment section you can add certain things you can confirm or you can reject my idea but I would want you to be teachful so other people when they are reading your comment learn something and if I am reading your comment which I am most of the time uh, reading the beautiful comments well no room for negativity uh, I'm reading your comments and then I can teach something from you yeah and uh, we are right now still walking on Amudara beach and this area we have uh, uh, wind surfing and then here we have kite surfing and i already can see somebody is kite surfing at this particular area over there is a club kite surfing club So yes, uh, yeah, it's very important to travel with the right person. It's very important to, to, to know and to give them a chance to be your partner. And it's very important to be vulnerable and to be open and be forgiven. And, and, and if, the person is, if the person is not actually putting the word and the effort to build a family, or if the person is not putting the effort and, and the emotions and the attention which is needed to move forward in a relationship then uh, after seeing all those red signs you don't need to travel with with a person like that you should you should back up you should back off and you should you should kind of gi <clears throat> give it another shot yeah and don't waste your life on somebody who doesn't deserve it Amudara is a very huge beach, it's a very wide beach and the good thing about it is that it has many entrances to the beach uh, like and also small little areas that you can park your car and you can get to the beach and it's a very wide beach. Uh, well there are also like sun beds and umbrellas if you are someone who likes sun beds and umbrellas that's a beautiful thing, th th those are available. But as you can see, this part of the beach, very nice, shallow, 
uh, crystal clean water and also the entrance is a few steps from the, the road, the main street that you can just walk to the beach. And if you are staying here, you can walk to Heraklion as I am doing. And if you are staying in Heraklion, you can just walk to the beach and you can start having a good time, yeah. So you could enter easily the beach from this entrance, pretty open. I like it when they don't close these entrances to the beach, uh, unlike uh, what was happening in Malia. You could enter the beach from where I entered next to the taverna. And uh, also in front of me, there is a huge, huge parking that you can also park your car and you can be at the beach. Free parking free beach. I guess at the moment the showers are not working, but there is another beach next to this beach, which has sun beds and umbrellas. The showers on, on that beach is working. All right, so I'm at Amudara beach and this parking area. And I've walked about 13,000. About 13,247 steps. So the showers are supposed to be these ones, but they are not working anymore. There used to be uh, a cafe, a bar here, and then they also own this this playground for the kids. But I think maybe they are going to open. Maybe they are going to open a little bit later, and maybe later when it's open, the showers will start functioning. But at the moment, speaking, the showers are not working. So look at this. We have a very huge, huge area for the parking and. Uh, this is a school for the kids and behind the school there is a wash point let's wash it's called let's wash you can wash your car here and behind it is the Sclavinitis supermarket I will also leave an exact link to that supermarket so in case if you are staying in the area you want to buy something that is the biggest market and you can find almost everything you want yeah and already some people are parked here. They are sometimes coming just to drink a coffee and have this beautiful view in front of them. And some other, they are uh, leaving their car and then they are going to the beach. Yeah. So, yeah, this far I could manage to walk and I, I shared with you. Uh, hope you like this video and uh, there was something for you that you could grab from it. And I hope it was entertaining. If so, then give this video a thumbs up, share your thoughts, recommendations in the comment section. And if you want to support me, support the channel, my PayPal account link 
my Patreon account link in the description. And if you are already having a good time, consider subscribing. Other than that, until the next time, peace.